What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from my brand new project, Marty Music. Thanks so much for uh, coming on over here and finding me at my new thing and supporting it. I really appreciate you subscribing to this new YouTube channel and also my new website, martymusic.com. When you sign the newsletter over there, you get a uh, free digital course. Uh, and I really appreciate your continued support. In this video, uh, we're going to be doing Dust in the Wind, Kansas obviously a iconic song but we're using uh, what's called travis picking with uh you know this finger pattern called travis picking you know finger style guitar whatever so what we're going to do is we're going to just form a c chord with our left hand and that's it we're just going to forget about that that's just what we're going to use as our little foundation for the right hand so i want you to really pay attention to the right hand so we got the c chord we got the right hand we're only going to be using our thumb index and middle finger and the first thing we're going to do is what's called a pinch and it's the a string and the b string sounds pretty good huh <laughs> so that is step one all right a thousand times later you ready pause a thousand times come back all right just kidding next we're going to hit our thumb on the d string that. Like so. So pinch on the A and B. Thumb on the D, index now on the G. Put that together. And do that, I don't know, at least 50 times. Rest. So the A and B pinched, thumb on the D, index on the G. Next we're going to go thumb back to the A. So we got the pinch. Pinch, thumb on the D, index on the G, thumb back on the A. So when you play at full speed it looks like that. Let's do it really slow. Again. So the next thing we're going to do is our middle finger <laughs> on the B string. I enjoy doing I don't know. that I get a kick out of that. That's the five-year-old in me. I don't know. So all I've added is the middle finger on that B string. The whole time, the left hand, I'm just holding a C chord. So don't worry about that. Here it is again. Super slow.
Then we add our thumb to the D string. That's what we have so far. Pinch, D, G, A, B, D. Finally, the final thing is index on the G. Then the whole thing starts over. Pinch, D, G, A, B. Starts over. So each sequence, that one beat, the each sequence or pattern starts with the pinch. It always starts over on that pinch. The whole song does that. So the more you just get used to that pattern, I remember, you know, playing video games when I was little. That's my pantomime for video games. And, you know, you'd have little combos like left, right, left, right, up, right, or, you know, you're just kind of memorizing it first and all of a sudden you could just, you know, street fighter left and right, right? So that's what we need to do is it's the same kind of thing. It's a little, uh, it's a little pattern. The, the more you do it with repetition, the uh, the more second nature it comes, and what I what I do when I'm learning something like this is I'll work on it for like ten minutes, then I'll just I'll grab an electric and jam some blues or do something totally different, different song, something, and then come back again. And it always feels good to come back. You know, you don't want to burn yourself out on it. So here it is. So as next thing that we can do is we can play an A minor chord. And but the right hand's the same. Nothing's different. Switch to C. And then so for the intro to Dust in the Wind, the only thing that's going on is on the B string. So that's where you're getting this little melody going on. 
and it's either going to be index on the one or no finger on the B and pinky on the third. Okay, and uh, it, it, you know when you just kind of break it down like that, it sounds a lot fancier than it is, as opposed to the way hopefully we're deconstructing it together. So there's a little pattern going on. First thing, it's just basically C, two, three, four. So C for four patterns, A minor for four patterns, C for four patterns, A minor for four patterns. That is what's going on. So let's do that without the melody. Two, three, four. Now A minor. Two, three, four. Back. So that's all that's gonna start to happen. So C for four patterns, A minor for four patterns, C for four patterns, A minor for four patterns, and then the song would start. So now let's talk about the melody. Let's just look at the melody, then we'll put them together. One, oh, three, one. So that's what happens for the first C chord. One, oh, Three, one. So you put that together, you gotta have this memorized, because then we're just taking a C chord, pull it off, then add my pinky, then go back to the one, but this is just that thing we've been working on. Check it out. So remember, it was one, zero, three, one. And it's one pattern per note. So that pattern, And it's zero, so index comes off, same pattern. Then pinky to the third, same pattern. Then back to the one. So when you play it a little bit quicker, now I'll play it really slow for you. Just remember that right hand's been doing the same thing this whole lesson, period. Now we go to the A minor, and it's a similar melody, but the melody for the A minor is So here it is again. Oh, three, one, oh. And so that would, if you're starting with A minor, but it's the O, oh, then it just looks like that. And you'd play, oh, three, one, oh. Exact same pattern here. Here it is again, slow. Now let's try it with the first two chords. So one, zero, three, one. And then the A minor starts with O, three, one, O. O, three, one, O. Here it is without me talking. Now it goes back to C, and the melody is three, one, oh, three. So three, one, oh, three. All over a C chord. So remember, it starts with the pinky down on the three for this. 
right? One, oh, three. Again, this is that second C chord. Starts with the pinky on the third. And then the final A minor is the same melody as the first chord, one, zero, three, one, but now it's on A minor. So one, zero, three, one. So you can probably, you're probably seeing how important it is to just kind of spend some time with the right hand memorizing it. All right, so I'll play it from the top, uh, kind of regular speed, then I'll play it slow and just keep working at it. Now really slow. All right, there it was, the uh, intro to Dust in the Wind with a nice Travis picking uh, skill that we can add to our bag of uh, tricks. Thanks again for supporting me at my new thing, Marty Music, martymusic.com as well. Uh, if you want to request the next part of this song or anything else, any lesson, anything at all, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. And I've been uh, responding to all you guys, and I just uh, want to thank you again for supporting uh, me as a guitar teacher, and it's been a great journey. So hopefully this is just the beginning, and I can't wait to see you again real soon. See you later.